hey, do you have an event that occurs multiple times, such as a every Tuesday uh, music on the terrace event? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on Simple Six, where people can basically register for multiple Tuesdays or your entire concert series with one order with just a few clicks. All right, so let's dive in. The very first way to do it is kind of like the out of the box way to do it with Simple Six. Um, if you ever want the ability for folks to order multiple tickets for different events in one order, let us know. Um, send an email over to support at simpletix.com. We'll enable it on your site. But in the meantime, um, I've already enabled it on this site and I'll show you how it works. Um, so here I have um, an event. I click on get tickets and I'll get some tickets for this event. Now I can click check out now to check out or I can click um, select other events at this point, I could select the, an event and I can get tickets and I could buy tickets um, for multiple events all in one order and check out. Now that's one way of doing it, um, but it still requires a lot of clicks. Um, the, the good news is it doesn't require multiple orders, but the bad news is it does require a lot of back clicks, right? So we have another way of doing it in Simple Six where people can just do it with like two clicks. Um, let me show you how to do it. So the very first thing is to jump into the manager panel. Okay, so I'm on the manager panel of the website. I'm gonna go and click my event, and I'm gonna choose a new feature called custom registration pages. And we're gonna make a custom registration page right now. I'll click create here. And um, for our custom page, we can create our own custom title, our own teaser, and our own description. Now, most of this is usually the same as your event description. So you can click this button right here to copy it all over from your normal event description. And you can also do a custom graphic too. So we're giving you a lot of granularity. Um, so I'll drop in my event image right now. And I'll go ahead and select that. And um, you can even change the button text. So if you want to say, hey, get season tickets or get um, your registration, whatever you want, you can put here. So um, I'll leave it the same uh, for now. Yeah, I'll click uh, next to save this. Okay. So this is what's special. We're going to create one registration page that's only for members. So if you're a member, you basically can go to this one page and you can register um, for all the times, but only at that member rate. In this case, members are free. Um, so it's a quick way for members to register for the entire season with just two clicks. Um, so over here, I have all the dates. So I'm going to expand each date and I'm going to choose member. Okay, so at this point, I've selected all the member admissions um, for this entire event. I'll click on Save. And now it's created. Now it says Class Pack in a few places. That was the original term for this. Um, really, it's a custom registration page. Now to get the link for this page, go over to Link, and you'll get a pop-up with the different variations of this. So let's explore them now. The first one is called Class Pack. So here's the class pack version. Um, it's really designed for like classes and seminars, um, but this might work for us. I'll click get tickets. And so by default, it has all of the dates pre-selected for us. Um, so if somebody was like, you know, going to pay for like, um, in the original case for this was a beekeeping um, workshop that was every Saturday. And we wanted everyone to go to every single seminar and pay for every single seminar all at once. Um, so this is one way of doing it. In this particular case, this would be a bad example because it's really easy for people to blow out your entire inventory because it's already here, it's all pre-selected, and it's completely free. Um, so people might be, it might be, make it too easy for people to select every single Tuesday for the entire summer. So this would be a bad example. Um, let me show you the next one over here. It's called Festival. Um, so you can click this link to copy it to your clipboard. All right, so now let's explore the festival view. When I click Get Tickets here, it has all the dates select, uh, all the dates visible, and has all the member prices visible. And if I wanted to go to um, this time, and I wanted to go to this time, and for this one, I wanted to bring a friend who's maybe also a member, and I wanted to go to this one as well, I could sort of cherry pick them and do different quantities for each one. And they're all right here. And I didn't basically select any ones unintentionally. They're all the ones I manually selected. 
So I believe, I believe that this is the best case. But before we go away, let's explore one more variation. It's called the weekly. So this is it right here. I'll click it to get this link in my clipboard. And I'll paste it in right here to see what it looks like. I'll click get tickets. And this one's kind of interesting. Um, basically, it has the date. Then you have to click to expand it. Then you can click here to get it. So that's one extra click per time. Again, if I click here, then I can click here. So um, this might be OK if you had multiple ticket levels. So if you notice earlier when we were selecting all the ticket types, we only did the member ticket types. But if you want to do the member and the non-member, pretty much all of them, this might be OK because um, since you have so many different ticket types, in this case, it's only two, it kind of saves on real estate. So this might be OK if you had two ticket types. But in our, for our scenario right now, this would be not ideal because you're making them click here and then click here, and then it's kind of annoying. So really, the best view um, for this case is the festival view. So let's show it to you one more time. So basically, with the festival view, nothing is pre-selected, and the members can select the individual times that they want to go to, just like this, and that's it. All right, so before we go, I'll show you how to do it one more time. In this case, we're going to do it for the non-members. Um, so I'll go over here. I'll click close in this pop-up. And um, if I want to sort of modify this title before I go away from it, let's do that. So I'll say um, members here. This will help us know which one's which, too, by the way. Um, so let me just copy that to clipboard. I'll click next. Click next. There we go. That's how you basically save it, by the way. All right, I'll click the button over here to create another one. I'll copy from the primary event, just like before. And I'm going to say this one is for non-members. And I'm going to drop in the graphic uh, just like I did before. Um, the beauty also is, yeah, it might seem like more work and more things to manage by having to do this again. But it gives you more granularity, because if you want to do a different graphic for non-members, you could do that. Um, all right, so I'll click on Next. All right, and now I'll go through here and select all of the non-member tickets. All right, just looking at this again, I have all the non-member tickets selected. None of the member tickets are selected. A-OK. -okay. I will click on Save here. And now it's created. All right, let's take a look at this one. Um, so I'll click on Link. And the festival was the best view. I'll go ahead and tap that link right there. Now it's on my clipboard. I'll paste it over here. And here's the uh, Tuesdays on the Terrace. It says non-members right here. I'll click at Tickets. And um, since I'm a non-member, I'll be paying $5 plus the service fee. And I, so basically, I have the ability to sort of cherry pick which of the times I'd like. So if I got three tickets there, four tickets maybe, I can see it. You know, four times five is 20. I can see it right there. So this is an easy way um, compared to the other ways. Um, let's take a look at the other options as well. So class pack, definitely not going to be a good option here, but I'll show you what it looks like. Get tickets. They're all pre-selected for me, so my order total before I even selected anything is $82. So basically $65 was the root price. Um, so that's just another view of it. Um, so yeah, festival mode is the best mode um, for a case like this, um, where you have like, you know, um, every Tuesday or every Saturday you have an event and for the whole summer long and you want a quick way for people to buy tickets for the dates that they want to go to, where it's all one page and one checkout. All right, well, thanks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click that like button below. Thank you.